but you can also do it simply by imitating them. One person imitating another is funny. The sheer impudence of it is funny. If the imitation is exaggerated, it becomes parody. This is imitation which implies some ridicule of the person being imitated. If the person being parodied is a representative of power and authority, then the parody becomes satire. Hi! In satire, visual comedy is used as a weapon. Screen test number 73, Ronald Reagan, take one. Cut! Take two. Frankly, my damn, I don't give a deer. Cut! Take three. Dearly, my Frank, I don't damn a give. Cut! Take 37. Hi, dear. I'm Frank. Give Madame a donut. Cut! An endless amount of modern comedy is based on parodies of well-known films and TV programs. This immediately gives the comedian a form and structure within which he can work. Help! Help! you don't have to think up too many original ideas and you can still get three different kinds of comedy happening at once there's the fact that you've got the comedian imitating the mannerisms of a well-known character there are jokes about the mechanics of the parody itself opportunity to send up the visual style of the original film. If the production values don't quite match those of the original, well, you can say that's all part of the joke. Whether he's working in slapstick, surrealism, or parody, or some combination of the three, the comedian's success depends, first and foremost, on his ability to create a funny character. As Charlie Chaplin once said, in comedy, nothing transcends character. And for the physical comedian, this means his ability to communicate through his body language. speciality and his famous piano act is one of the highlights of his stage show part of the pleasure is to do with illusion making us see what is not there but it is mainly about using the body to create character comic acting in other words through his body language, the comedian can introduce intimacy and even elegance into the generally frantic world of physical humor. simply in the shadings of a facial expression, particularly now in the age of TV, where the close-up 
is so common.